what is my piano technique? And then I decided to explore it very clear and to be able to explain it for my students how to produce a sound, how to make a nice sound. And this is the main purpose of this meeting now, to explain what is the piano technique. The first point is the goal of a nice sound. Quality of sound means the ability to produce a sound, to listen to it, and to improve its quality. This is the main goal of technique, to have a nice sound, to have a sound that is produced very light and very gentle and very elegant. And this will allow us to get some beautiness in music, some emotion, and to have a big pleasure of playing music, playing piano, enjoying the works of the great composers as Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, Shostakovich, and others. We can start. The main idea is to have a concept that we call it a quarter movement, and I will make you a movement that I want you to reproduce, reproduce it later to have a nice sound. I take your arm and make this movement. I reproduce it. I take your arm, your arm moves your forearm, the forearm moves the hand. I do it again. Please do it by yourself. Okay. Very good. Once again, please. The same thing with your right hand. Again. Both hands together, please. And again. Excellent. This will be our basic movement. We will call it quarter movement. It can also be for a dotted quarter note. It may be for an half note, depending on the text. But now, in general, we will we'll call it a quarter movement. And this is the movement to prepare a sound and to the receive a house sound and a light one. Please, let's do it at the piano. Uh, second finger, Re. Okay. Long Re. Right then. Now, we have a, we have a all note, four counts. You have your preparation, that is exactly a quarter time, yes, you rest one, two, three, in the fourth you make a movement to go out from the tone, please, re. Again, let's count very yes. slowly, please, again, two, three, four. Now let's make a sequence of okay. four all notes. Okay. We can make it with the third finger, please. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Very good. Now let's take a half dotted note, both hands, a sequence of four tones, with any tone that you want, with second finger, yes, mm -hmm. but we'll count three. Are you ready? Okay. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Excellent. Half tone, two counts. The first one you rest, and the second mm -hmm. one, preparation, very wide. Think adagio very slowly, please. One, two, two, two. Very good.
good. And now, when we arrive to one count, a quarter ton, we don't have time to wait. At the same moment that you enter to the ton, you start the movement to produce the next sound. Please take another ton to make it more interesting, please. Very good. Once again, in other tones, the same okay. thing, please. Okay. Uh, the arms very close to your body, that you are resting. We need always a preparation to the preparation movement. That means that your body, you have to get, that is very relaxed, very quiet. And from there, you will start your preparation movement. Here we have the rest. When the rest is so short, the rest is like a quarter tone movement. It's, we are resting, we are not playing, but we are moving, preparing the next sound. Okay. With this movement, we are going to the rest, and from the rest, we are going to the next sound. Position of the ends on the keyboard. It's very important to play, to put your hands on the keyboard when all the fingers are ready to play. In particular about the first finger, the thumb, that will not be outside the keyboard. Always ready to play, even if he's not playing, he's ready. Please. Yes. Okay. Now play a short improvisation mm -hmm. when your fingers are on the keyboard all the time, please. White tones. Very good. Now when we have white tones, the ends are in one position. When we have key tones on the keyboard, we must to be ready. The position has to take them in account, because otherwise it will take time and the producing of the sound will not be as best as it can. I playing now a short improvisation when black keys are ready. Short improvisation, preparing the black keys in yeah. other... Yeah. E major you want? I think so. Yeah. Please. Very slow. Now the position, we usually are on the middle of the keyboard. What happens when we go to the extremes, to the bass or the high upper side of the piano? We need that our column vertebral is going a little bit backwards mm -hmm. to allow the arm to go inside. Now please play a little bit the same text, let's say, a song, what, whatever you want. 
concentrate okay. here and when when you allow mm -hmm. to the arms to go inside very easily. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, pay attention. I organize very well the quarter tone. Because I have two movements here. One quarter tone. N. Try to do it again. And, of course, moving backwards a little bit when you need it. Now, let's do it, it was fine, let's do it once again, and you decided which tone is the goal of the phrase. Is it the Sol, the G tone, or is it the, the Do, the C tone? Is it Sol, Fa, Mi, Do, or is it Sol, Fa, Mi, Do? Which one you decide will be to have a phrase that is very clearly musical? Let's do an improvisation with long tones mm -hmm. to practice preparation of a sound and finishing the sound, closing the sound. For example, You create your improvisation, practicing the preparation and the closing of the tone, and sometimes also with some rests. Okay. Let's talk now about the rest, yes? Mm -hmm. If you have a rest 8 tone, it's like a beat, you start your movement and you play the 8 note going up. Again. Try it, please. Now, if we have, we start the quarter tone with the eighth tone, and we have a rest after that, we continue the movement of the quarter tone. Take, take a look. I continue with my arm. I don't stop it. I don't make... And I stop. But I continue the flowing of the movement. Please. Very 
very fine now it was fine with the rest the quality of your sound may be better if you activate your fingers try please To improve your sound is very important the concept of acceleration. The acceleration we have it in the arm and in your fingers. I start with the arm and to the end the finger makes the acceleration movement. What is hard in the acceleration is not the acceleration. The acceleration is very easy. Yeah. What is very important and difficult is to start moving very slowly because we have to educate our muscles here to make a very fine movement. The acceleration will come later. Please, very slow starting each acceleration. The acceleration in the arm or the finger. Please. Yes, it was better. Mm -hmm. The sound was more clearer. Mm -hmm. When the movement is better, the sound is better, and you feel better, and your audience will enjoy your sound. And this is the secret: is how to produce the sound, how to create acceleration that you are very goal-oriented. You know the sound, you hear it in your mind, and you have the arms, your fingers that can produce it. Yes, mm -hmm. if the quarter tone was we will now introduce two eight tones in the same movement in the same frame we will produce the two eight tones two eight tones please in a quarter movement try it please Fine, the frame was clear. Now let's improve it. Let's, as we talked at the beginning, the, pro the production of the sound, of the nice sound, is our goal. It's beauty. It's to strive all the time to perfection. You did it fine. Your second eighth tone was a little poor in sound. And let's work on it. That means okay. it's always harder, the second eighth tone. The first one is easier because there is some articulation with the down movement of the whole arm and of the finger. In the second eighth tone, we have the more sophisticated situation that the arm is going only up and your finger on the same time is going up and down. Fine, try it once in the left hand, 
Uh, the first eight tone, a little more sound, is to create a do, do is singing, the music is singing all the time, please. Yes, do it once again, going back to the departing position. Okay. Not, not in the air, departing position. Do, re, do, yes, mm -hmm. please try it. Do, mi. Yeah. Sol, mi. Very good. Now we'll do triplets. The same principle. Three eight tones in a decrescendo way. Pa, 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 pa. I give you an example. A small legato, I go out. The arm doing the quarter tone. In the quarter tone, we have three eight, a triplet of three eights. Once again, now a little more diminuendo, a clear diminuendo, but also when you have the pianissimo, the quality of the sound, this is always the main goal, please. Both ends, triplets, please. Any text that you yeah. choose. But very, without making a composition, no? Without okay. making a composition. Ah, okay. Very technical, that you are totally concentrated in the goal of the sound, in the organization. And do it, please. Adagio, very ah. wide. Please. Ah. First, thumb ah. finger without going out of the keyboard, please. The same text. Sixteens, the same principle. Yes, I give you an example. This one end at the beginning. Let's start with left. Let's start with left. together, very simple text, with sol fa mi re re mi fa sol. But the quality, it was a little bit different. I don't say which one was better or worse, but the intention is to have a sound that is very focused. Mm -hmm. Try it, please. Very good. That is the idea that you imagine the sound that you want. If you don't imagine, you will play the sound that you already have in your bank, in your head, yes? In your brain, you have a bank of sounds. But we need a new one. You have to create it and in your head and then to produce it with your hands. Dotted eight tone and I'll give you an example. The 
Yes, yes, please write the same text. And now the re will be a sixteen. That means that the array will be produced in the fourth part of the quarter tone movement. I move, and to the end, I produce the upbeat tone. Now I'm producing a six tone upbeat, quarter tone that I'm resting, and a second quarter tone that will start the upbeat. I will play it. the first quarter tone, the second one you start to move, please. Fine. I, the body loves very much movement, because we are in movement all the time. We have to educate our body, our arms and some of just to rest, to be ready, not to move, in order to start to move exactly at the moment that we want it. And now we'll do it the upbeat that is a dotted eighth, dotted eighth tone. That means we have a 16 rest and a dotted eighth tone. Yes, please. Try it again. Yes, Try it again, good. please. Very good. Yes, look. Well, I mean, rest. I move and I throw my hand to the first rest and start mm -hmm. the movement. Look. I throw it and I start. Mm. You want to try again? Yes, I'll try it once. Fine. sound under the palm of the end. Please. Fingers over other fingers. Second finger, first finger, immediately I prepare, I touch with my second finger and the third finger, I touch them because as relaxed I am with the fingers and in contact with the keys, I will produce the sound better. I can do it in other way, but it will be without control, in that way 
I'm ready very early and the sound is very elegant at the place on, in, on time. Please try it. Sol Fa Mi Re. Excellent. At the left hand with the thumb under the palm and fingers over the fingers. And with the thumb under, with the left hand. Once again, now pay attention to your arm. I think that your arm may be a little closer to your body. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are playing at the center, at the middle register of the piano, then your arm is very close to you. When you are moving to the extremes, if the right one, the left one, your departing position is a little wider, a little uh, apart from your body, yes, but you have to find where exactly it has to be your arm, not to make a work that is necessary to hold it in the air. Please try to do it again, mm -hmm. and our goal is to have a nice sound, please. Once again, the same thing, please, and improving. In particular, the do and the sol, yes, the thumb under the palm of the hand. Scales, ascending and descending motion. When the right hand is ascending, we have some coordination with the movement of the arm that moves basically outside to the right and the tones are also going to the right. When we are going downwards descending it's a little bit different. That means we are descending, going to the left, but the movement of the arm is again and again to the right. In some sense, the descending movement is a little harder than the ascending movement. We have to be aware about it. Please try to do G major scale, upwards and downwards. Okay. Yeah, start it here mm -hmm. to very, do it very comfortably. With the left hand, it happens the contrary. When the left hand is going up, the arm is going to the left. And we have to be very aware about it. When we'll be descending, it will be easier. Please try it. G major scale. together. 
let's do now four octaves, mm -hmm. uh, opening, closing, and coming back. You remember? Um, just let's get some Very slow. Yeah. You. Quarter tone. Quarter tone, please. But slow, I, I look. <laughs> to do. Usually people thinking about piano and forte, they may be strange their bodies, yes, and do things that are not correct. How can we solve it? Through understanding better how to produce the forte. Produce the forte exactly like piano, like mezzo piano. It's the same movement. But in the case of forte, the acceleration movement is in a higher speed. It's the same movement. But to do in higher speed, I need to start the acceleration very slow, slower than for a mezzo piano and piano, because otherwise I would arrive earlier than I need. Again, forte, very light one, the same kind of production of sound. Play some forte very lightly. Okay. Uh, again, 
again, or something else. Okay. have a longer note, let's say half note or all note, you come back to the original position. Because if I'm not resting, I will not be free enough. As please play some chords okay. when it's a half tone, more than a quarter tone, please. Chords, okay. whatever you want, forte. You can get yes. a bigger forte, for mm. a bigger forte, like a light one, without mm. any strengthening your body. Fine, very good, very good, very good, excellent. Pianissimo, the yes. same technique, okay. the same movement. I'm talking about pianissimo without pedal, yes. Pianissimo with a nice sound. Mezzo piano. If it's more the quarter tone, you yes, rest. Yes. Yes. Play right now with half tones, please. Mezzo piano. Excellent, very good. Skipping. Very usually <coughs> we make the mistake that when you are sitting from one corner to other one that we think we feel we don't have time enough and we are playing just coming from the side. The technique has to be that in the same way how we play at the place where we are, we arrive to other place, we go up and down. Now we will try some skipping, play here, there, <coughs> maybe oh, a single yeah, note yet, in the other way. Mm -hmm. When the technique is clear, then it's easier to produce the sound and you are not worried without n not having time and playing from the side, yes? Please. Okay. Skipping. Okay. Other okay. examples, yes. Okay. The second tone is longer, yes? Yeah. 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 Again the same. Longer, yes. yes. A chord, yeah. skipping. Okay. Maybe both hands yeah. in one, one corner. Like this. Yes. Again. Legato. Legato means singing at the piano. With other instruments it's probably easier with the fiddle, with the, with the flute and so on. In the piano it's very important the coordination with our ear, with our eyes. I play in Do. When I go to the Re, I play the Re, but I look and I hear still the Do in my short memory. I'm Tying both because if I will erase, it will not be legato. It will be a mechanical playing from one after the other one. The legato has to be very strong, very deep. Let's try now to work a little bit with the so legato. Like 
diatonic and also with some skip. Whatever you want, please, legato. Me, le cut, it was nice, nicer tone. Please. It's better. Mm -hmm. I'm doing more acceleration here and here. Look. Okay. Nice tone. This is the gato, and this is the concept how the eyes help to concentrate and to memorize the phrase to create one line. In staccato playing is again the basic technique is the same one, but we have to be very aware that staccato, like everything that we are doing, is all the body, from our feet to our body to our arms. It's a behavior. I play staccato. <laughs> Staccato when you are tuned to staccato all your body. Should it be faulted to or is it just... You know, you choose it, it maybe made so you can try different dynamics. Staccato. <laughs> Staccato, a little more sharper. This it was staccato combined with a little legato, a more sharper staccato. Okay. You see, a little more, uh -huh. but it's you you yeah, understand it's, it, but it's, it's almost. Yeah. They the same phrase. Here at this block A little accent. Very good. A new subject. The methodology of practicing piano. Usually we have some problems in some spots and we don't, we don't like to stop and to practice, but we have to. <clears throat> and we have to know to isolate a place. When we are isolating a place in a piece, we have to know how to start. <clears throat> if we start with both ends or one hand, now let's say we we are starting symmetrically at the place. If I have a problem with, it's not, so, and I want to practice all this, I have to isolate the place. Now, it's very symmetrical both ends, but here I starting with eight not upbeat, yes? As I will practice, I move both ends symmetrically, an eight tone, and the two sixteenths, I take him on the way. Understand? I understand, yes. I will try to practice to oh, some place okay. and to isolate it, the place that you are practicing, take a okay. spot, whatever you want, and we will practice it a little bit. Okay, from this.
start from the isolated place and mm -hmm. play it as it goes. Okay. Another example? Maybe here. Um, Go. So. This is a very good example. Yeah. Once again, please. Yes, the preparation movement is only in the left and after that we are going do it again and try to improve it a little bit uh, start when your arm is as near to your body as possible please you know now you, it does sound much different than the left yeah, because different. you started from a point that is more free more relaxed yes finger as his personality according to the position in the end to the length yes and we start with the second finger because it's very easy to play with it second finger is the finger that is showing yes as please play something short improvisation yes. just second finger both ends yes Very good. The third finger is a little similar, it's a little more in the center, but it's very fixed and very easy to play. The movement is very direct. Third finger. Pay attention that you are playing two eight notes to have them in the quarter uh, movement, please. In the quarter movement, you go back yeah, always right. to this uh, opening position, to the neutral position, because I have a feeling that you are keeping a lid and then yeah, you are not relaxing enough, please. Uh, diagonal movement because it's position it's a weak finger but if I respect his position and the direction of its movement I will exploit its possibility more as most yes? <laughs> slow just yeah. to feel this direction even if the the movement is a short one but the direction is a all one it's always a spherical one four finger both oh, yeah. rest yeah. you rest 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 because in resting is your power yeah. you are relaxing and from there you can fly 
extreme. If it's for the right end, it's playing very frequently the highest tone of the melody. That means this short finger has a very, very, very big responsibility. And the same thing about the bass line, yes? Again, feeling his direction, going with it, not feeling an uneasy because its position, but feeling all its potentiality. <laughs> situation but I am training yeah. the fifth finger please okay Finger is a, is a very special position, it's a short finger. Again, we go with his position, with his very particular way looking to his members, yes. <laughs> This yeah. one end and the other one, and after that, both together. Okay. Yes, and with the first finger, we have to be very careful. Sometimes we make the preparation with the arm inside, something like that. Okay. The preparation, like in other fingers, outside direction. Here's the left hand. Yes, try it on only the right end. Left. Before, before you start, you take more time. Take two more time to, to feel your body. Yes? positions. We are always preparing the fingers to the text that we are playing. Sometimes the text may be very easy. Sometimes we have an open position, for example. Yes. Maybe that the position at one end is a shorter one and we have to skip. of the positions is very independent, auto autonomy at the right end and the left end. But yeah. always we have to be aware about preparing the fingers to save time and space. Please play a little bit with positions at the beginning only the right end. very well, yes? Okay. You have to improve a little bit the work of your fingers. Okay. Try a little bit. Ah. 
I define, is it legato? I would do, I have to define everything to get the nicest music that I want. Please. Okay. If it's hard, eight notes, look. Etc., etc. It's the question of the arms. When I'm going upwards with the right hand, there is some correspondence with this movement outside and the movement at the keyboard. But when I'm going downwards, that is from right to left, the arm is creating his energy going outside and I have to be aware about that. Practice it a little bit. Okay. So uh, the points. correspondence and non correspondence between both directions. possibilities that no. that is uh, symmetrical let's say I'm playing both ends right up uh, left down and this is symmetrical with the movement of the arms yes it's symmetrical as a correspondence when I'm going down it happens that the arms are going right and left, but the music is going to the center. Just being aware and to see it and to feel motorically without any problem, very free without. Please practice a little bit okay. with both ends. parallel movement at the keyboard and there is some correspondence in one end and non-correspondence in the other one. check ourselves. We are all the time looking sometimes to the score, to the text, sometimes to, to the keyboard, and to our body. If we are feeling our body and looking and knowing the movements, we are flowing without any problem. If there are things not resolved, this will be marked in the music. It's a pity. Improve a little bit your acceleration movement okay. in the arms and also in the fingers. Practice it a little bit.
this is the difference between them. If I have to take something, if I go and I take it in this way, or if I go in a very natural moment, we, we are playing the keyboard, we are trying to discover or rediscover our naturality. And it's also in other moments we are doing. If I standing up, I will not stand up like thinking what I'm doing. I, I will stand up at the beginning, the movement is slower, and after this, the acceleration. Uri, thanks a lot for your cooperation well, you. and your playing to finishing. If you want to play, I think I'll skip we'll, this. We'll yeah. skip it. Yeah. Uh, we'll finish here. Um, I, I tried to bring out some central topics in piano technique, starting from the nice sound. A nice sound is a nice is a sound that we have to create it. It comes from our body, and we control it in time, also in emotion. And from there, we went and we covered a lot of, of, of the themes. And how every technical problem or challenge is connected to the other one, to the other one. And now, let's enjoy music, the nicest of all, all arts. Thanks a lot. <laughs>